take a moment. Yanni and I were talking about what do we do for people that have a hat, but they don't have a chin strap, but they decided they wanted to add a chin strap. Um, some of you might call them stampede straps or wind straps, chin straps, whatever, all the same. But what happens if you have a hat that we design, or for that matter, any hat that doesn't have a chin strap, what do you do? Well, we've got a great video out there and we can link to it later um, for mesh hats. Mesh hats are really easy because you just kind of stretch the mesh out, you put the chin strap through and kind of feed it through. There's no maintenance really required or any kind of work. But how about a hat that's all leather that you want to add a chin strap to? It's super easy. Um, it takes just a little, a couple tools. Um, some of the things that we use around the shop that you might not have are little leather punches. Now these could be found at like most craft stores, so maybe at Beverly's um, or something out there. But say you don't have any of these leather punches, you can use things that most people will have around in their toolbox, like, a, like an awl. Uh, some people might call this an ice pick. Ah! Um, that's not because she's the ice queen. Uh, or some people might just simply use a screwdriver or even... You want a screw, but actually a nail. Make yeah. sure it's smooth. But this is a good length because it helps get in there. So what I do is we'll kind of identify where we want the chin strap to sit. And so what I'll do is I'll kind of stand behind it and I'll, I'll take a little eye on about where I want that chin strap to sit. And I might just push my fingernails in right where I want it. So now you'll see a little mark on either side. And I'll go ahead and lay that down on a surface. You know, we have something set up, but you can use like the outside of a fence railing. And what I'll do is I'll just kind of pin that down. I will pull that band up just a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and use a screwdriver because this is what you guys might be using. What I'll do there is I'll now just take that right where my nail marker was. I'll put that there. And I'll punch a little hole right there. So it's right as close as I can get to the hat band. Then what I'll do is I'll eye it one more time before I punch the next one and make sure everything looks even. And I'll make sure that my nail mark looks good, which it does. So I'll lay that down. And this time what I'll do is I'll use that nail. So now I'll take that nail, I'll put that nail right where my nail mark was. And you'll see that I'm able to punch a nice clean hole right underneath the hat band. Now what I'll do is I'll grab a chin strap. And I'll feed that through. And then I'll wrap it around the back. And I'll feed that through there. Now I've got my chin strap, I'll make sure I've evened it out. And I'll tie a little bit of a knot here. And there's my chin strap. Now what I can do is I can kind of tuck that loose part up underneath the band to hide it. and then feed that band back over it to hide that chin strap. I'll do the same on this side. And once I've done that, I'll go ahead and reshape my hat. And you've got yourself a chin strap.